Alright, you guys, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Way hey, Different hey, Show. Hey. I'm Niji Sabik. You already know it's your boy Mike on the mic. It's your boy Luke, no Skywalker. And to the right of me, I have Miami artist, straight out of Little Haiti. Please introduce yourself, young man. Yo, yo, it's your boy Dre Lalo, you feel me? Nebula, never regular. Straight oh. out of Little Haiti, you know? Oh, mm, there it there is. Go. Born and raised? Born and raised. That's what's up. That just, that just makes me feel like I need to add more to the mic on the mic. Right, to your no title. Skywalker. Right, and then, and then you, got, <laughs> yeah. you got him with the never intro. Regular, regular. I'm nah. like, hey, it's just Mike. Right. <laughs> it's your boy Mike on the mic, Mike on the, on the mic, mic, never bro. light. <laughs> Just <laughs> a, a whole freestyle <laughs> first. Nah, our next one we gonna be we, we gonna come prepared. Don't yeah, worry. facts. <laughs> Try right. trio thing. Yeah. All right, so how you doing? I'm good, feeling good, man. Yeah, Best you look like you ready. You ready about to you about to get on the mic and do something right now? Like <laughs> yeah. that's what you look like. You like prepared. Oh, nah, nah. Mm -hmm. you know, when you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. You know? I know okay. that's right. Mm -hmm. What gets about. you What gets you in that headspace to say I'm ready? It's life, man. It's life. You never know what's gonna happen. You never know when it's your shot. You never know. You know. You just gotta. Give it your all at all times. And so what makes you so hungry? Just coming from nothing, coming from where I come from, coming from my uh, grandma was an immigrant. Got she didn't even get an elementary education, and you know, I gotta make my family bring them to the better place. You know. That's okay, what's up. you That's said what's up. you said grandma, so I'm guessing she raised you. Yeah, I was. I lived most of my life with my grandma. Okay. My mom actually passed away a year ago. Oh, sorry, sorry to hear that. My condolences, yeah, sir. Yeah. So now living with your grandma, how did, how was that? Like, is that like I had to go to church all the time? Yes. Or what was oh, it? you you no, you, I'm you be around saying, Haitians. I'm just <laughs> I got, saying, I nah. see that. Hey, Caribbean too. We the same yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Always, you know, strict. Uh, my grandma's the old school Haitian, so she's like, oh, no friends. Oh, friends are bad. Oh, um, just be about school and church. That's it. Jesus is your only Je friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all you need. Like, yeah. Jesus is your only friend. Yeah. That's what's up. And you've always, uh, you were raised in the area of Little Haiti? Yeah, yeah. Always? Born and raised in Little Haiti. So Edison, Edison Middle School, Edison Senior? No, I didn't go to Edison. I know. You Middle see how you did? You like <laughs> that? I'm just, hey, I'm just I didn't go because my, my, my grandma thought those schools were too bad. Mm. Like, she, she was she wasn't wrong, yeah. sir. <laughs> she wanted me wrong. to grow up in <laughs> those Yali schools. <laughs> How was it growing up in that neighborhood? For the people that aren't from here uh, in Miami, you know, Little Haiti. Oh, oh. well, now it's, it's getting gentrified, and it's, I don't even think it's Little Haiti anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, back then it was like gunshots and every night and prostitutes walking up and down the streets. Like, yeah. I was in like eight, ninth grade catching the bus to school in the morning because I had to catch the bus at like six in the morning and the prostitutes said, oh, you want a good time? And I'm like, no. I'm only, yeah, I'm like, I want a good my, time in Miami. school, man. <laughs> Miami, what are you talking about? Uh, what school did you go to? I went to um, Horseman Middle and I went to Hialeah High for two years and Jackson High for two years. This man disrespected Edison. <laughs> like, like the schools he went to were like, <laughs> like I feel like he didn't just skip, he didn't oh just skip Edison. He went yeah. far, yeah. like, highly <laughs> high. I'm, I'm like, thinking he went to school at Broward or something. Oh, no. This man went to Horace, man. <laughs> no, my soul just wasn't, they wasn't hearing the Edison. Nope, no, I don't want to hear nothing about Edison. <laughs> That's all they, they didn't want to hear that. My mom went to Edison. That's the crazy thing about oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really? yeah. My bet it wasn't like That's that right. back then. My mom, no, nah, well, she went to what is now the middle school. It used to be a high school. She graduated from Edison, oh, class wow. of nineteen something slavery or something like that. So <laughs> come on, on. <laughs> come on. Ah, you can't take him serious. Now, how did your upbringing transition into your music or what you do as an artist? Um, how do you bring it to life? You know, in your work. I feel like I'm. I was on the outside looking in, but at the same time on the inside looking out. Cause I, I wasn't really in the streets and anything like that. Cause like right, I said, my right. grandma was strict, but I, I had homeboys that was in it, homeboys that was doing whatever they was doing. And I like seen it without being in it. And I know what I wanted and what I didn't want. I seen what they were going through. I seen what the struggles they had. And I knew what I wanted for myself from that. Okay. So you made, you, you took advantages and you know, you learned from their mistakes and yeah. what they were doing. Yeah. So how did doing that, how did you not become an innocent bystander to things? God, being in the, uh, I wouldn't say, because I've been in a couple of situations where I'm like, damn, how did I get here? But, you know, I just keep a positive energy around me. I'm a big believe, believer in energy and vibes. So I keep that po po positive energy around me and I just haven't been any, like anything major. 
and I've been safe. I've Stayed been away good. from danger. And I feel like my grandma is a big part. She's a big prayer. She prays over me every night, prays over all her family. And Still I feel like that. Day. Yeah. Amen to yeah. that. You What's need that. Now yeah. tell me, where did it all begin? At what point did you realize music is what you wanted to do and pursue? Yeah. Well, I was in the, at first it was poetry, matter of fact. Wow. Mm. Yeah. I, um, I know, right? Because right. <laughs> my demeanor, I'm a real shy person. Like when I first, when people first found out I was doing music, they was like, wait, like my mom was telling them that I do music. They were like, wait, Andre, little shy, quiet Andre, that never says nothing at the family functions that be in the corner listening to music or playing games. That Andre, like, yeah, um, nobody expected me to be that. Cause I used to always be to myself. I'm a, like, a, I'm a very introverted person. Well, now, now not so much because what music you have yeah, to be you like have a, to break out your shell a little bit for to. sure yeah but um i feel like that came with how i was up brought up because i wasn't like really allowed to go out and hang with friends as much as i wanted to and but i don't know yeah. that makes me kind of curious so if you weren't allowed to go out you weren't allowed to do a lot of things you know um you were an introverted person now you're about to do this big grandiose thing i'm about to mm -hmm. perform in front of mm -hmm. people i'm about to share my insides with these people how would you say you have first of all what helped you to get on that stage to say, okay, I'm ready to do this? Okay, I say, I told you I wasn't allowed to go out. That didn't mean I didn't go out. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. Excuse he was me. out the window, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, um, so then you then you did have the confidence to go out there. Yeah, yeah. But uh, like, it's it's difficult. It's um, I'm a very complicated person. I feel like I'm still trying to figure myself out. Mm. Like, when I'm on the stage or like in a studio. Or, I feel like it's a different me. It's the real me. And when I'm like like one on one with someone, it's hard for me. Like if, you t if I'm one on one with somebody, tell me freestyle, I'm be like I'm really nervous and I'm gonna be sweating like oh my god. But if I'm in front of a group of people, I feel like that's where I'm supposed to be. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Wow. That's different. I've never heard it put yeah. that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, always I would it think backwards. Yeah, I would right. think a singular person yeah, like yeah. let me just spit to you right cuz you about okay. to get all these bars, but uh <laughs> I don't know, because I feel like it gives me more confidence in front of more people. If, you, if I'm one-on-one -on -one with someone, it's like, if, they're, if they don't like what I just spit or what I just did, it's like 100% of people that just saw me don't like me. But mm. if I'm in a group of people and I spit, I know that brings my confidence more. I'm like, I know at least more than At least one of y'all going to yeah. yeah. like me. So, okay, so what if the big sense. producer, somebody comes in and says, you know what, I need you to do something for me right now. I want to hear it. Mm. And it's just him. It's just him? What you gonna do? Come to one of my shows. Come to one of my shows, bro. I'm gonna I'm 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 put it all on the line right there. I'm gonna I'm 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 envision more people. I'm envision gotcha. like it's a group of people. You're gonna make it work. Yeah. You know how they, they say the opposite. They say, oh, envision like it's only one person to make you feel comfortable. I envision more people. Like yeah. it's a group of people. Like it's a crowd. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That makes sense. How did how did your first performance go? Because I know. I did a few hype man incidents, right? <laughs> when I hopped on the stage, you remember like that time? Hype man days, yeah. yeah, you know. And I was, I had my eyes closed. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah. while you're on stage? Yep, yeah. yeah. because it, it wasn't about me. It was about the artist. So right, I was right. like, yeah, you know, yeah. What you said, bro? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, Whew. did you have your eyes closed your first performance? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. I didn't. And I actually was used to performing because in my grandma's church, I used to play like three instruments. Oh. So. And we had like to do a lot of like singing of the like church songs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was used to being in front of the audience. I guess that's where I, I grew up with knowing how to be in front of audiences. Would you, um so you played three different instruments. Can you still play those instruments now? No, I probably no. know like one song on each instrument that I could, <laughs> that I could play, but no. Nah. I want to get back into it though. Just All right, me. so look, I'm gonna let you hold that note for me, okay? <laughs> okay. okay, and we're gonna come right back. We're gonna stick a pin. We're gonna take a break. Yeah. Cool. I don't think he can hold the note no more. You don't think he can hold the note? <laughs> I think he can hold a little longer. You're watching the way different, so like and subscribe, and we'll be right back. Another episode of Way Different. This is live from the dojo. We got Z-Man in the building. <laughs> we got Charlie Bravo in the building. And you know you got me. The Brianna Six Ninja. From the moment Mari enter. What's on me agenda? Find a shorty like she don't be in. I bring her to my center. Rose and margaritas moving straight up out the blender. Chanel number five. Is it lingers? I remember what's your name? What's your sign? Yeah, you know you fine. Baby, you that ass. Girl, I gotta make you mine Daydreaming while I'm driving How you looking from behind? If you feel the way I'm feeling Why do we wasting time? I deliver, make you We all have dreams So, I mean, I know people I mean, they probably think I'm used to it You know what I'm saying by now But 
it's still a dream being in NBA. You know, I still play 2K with those guys. So. Which is why we end up as strong as though. Let's be clear. Yes, sir. Hey. Yes, ma'am. Hey. Right. Do you like the gear? Do you like the gear right? Do you like to get it on in the middle of the night? If you feel the way I'm feeling, it's going to be all right. I say green light at the green light. Don't stop. It's all go. Yeah. Uh, so, as I sit in the studio, that's it. Nah, I right, could so. I could really rap, but you know we're really not gonna do that. <laughs> no, cause it's not your it's not your time to shine just yet. We waiting we waiting for you. You on the next Dr one? Yeah, it's Trey Lalo. Yeah. <laughs> Trey Lalo. So, yeah. what was the early influences in music for you? Yeah. Early influences. Lil Wayne was a big influence for me. Um, we were mm. just talking about that earlier. That's yeah, true. Weezy. Ball Greasy. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I grew up like okay. in the same. Okay, it's about to start jacking right now. <laughs> yeah. What you saying? What? Yeah, I grew up in the same neighborhood as Ball Greasy, so I heard no some like his early music before he was like yeah. even as big as he is. So I knew like a lot of my homeboys like hang around him, so I knew like his early mixtapes and stuff. Mm -hmm. That was he was a big influence. Um, a Kanye. Yeah, I like pre Kanye. Right, so. right, right. Because <laughs> no. yeah, oh, why they be doing yay like that? I mean, you know, <laughs> people different. Great, yeah, I think great. so Come too. On, man. I like right? Nah, I mean, he a little different. He right. a little different. I'm with you, Drake. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, Jay Z. I mean, it's a it's, it's a bunch I can I can name. Okay. Well, okay. So what makes you different? You know how every artist has like that style, like that swag. What makes you stand out with your work? Well, personally, I feel like. Pain is music's favorite emotion. Mm. I try to show pain in, in like beautiful ways. Like you take, come from somewhere so dark and make it into something so beautiful. Like with words and music and instruments. So I, I try to, um, like it could be an upbeat song that I, you're gonna see some type of pain in it. That's what I focus on in my music. Do you write your own stuff? Yes. Everything for you? 100%. No Quentin Miller. No Quentin Miller. <laughs> Okay, that's what's up. So you that rose that grew from the concrete. Yeah. That's what you're telling me. Yeah. Would you write for others? Yeah, I would. I would. I wanna. I want to. Yeah, hey, I write. Uh, I got. I write so much. I write songs that I know like this is not me, but I know someone could use this. Could it, it be Mike? Have, like, could it be Mike? It could be Mike. Mike. All right, let's for the right on the road. money. I can see that. Oh, <laughs> one, is, one thing that stood out for me is you know we see a lot of we live in Miami. There's a lot of people trying to rap and things like that. And let's be honest, not yeah. all of them are good. Right. But you know, I dug into your Spotify and. I was a little shocked. I was like, "Wow, this guy can really like oh, thank you, rap, thank bro! Like, he's, thank you, nah, he's he's skilled for real." Like, so I appreciate it. I, appreciate I can see you writing for so, others for sure. So you say we you needed a crowd, right? Let me watch one thing. You gotta let us have it. No? Crowd. Yeah, we a crowd. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, fine. Put me on the spot. All right, fine. We'll wait. Nah, we'll nah, wait. We'll wait. <laughs> we, tell them, we we gonna we gonna put your handle and they gonna go listen to you. Exactly. I, mean, yeah, I like that. Good. I like that. <laughs> so, other than the pain, why why would somebody go? And search Dre Lalo. It was search Dre Lalo because he's from the bottom. He's 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 authentic. He's real. He's not trying to be something he's not. He's just real. Do you think that story is being overtold? That story, oh, I started from the bottom and now I'm here. I'm I started from the bottom and I'm still here. Right. <laughs> so it's like, I mean, That's I'm real. Just, it just I feel, I feel like I'm relatable. I hear I, I listen to rap music. I listen to stuff on the radio. They talk about oh. My car this, my new car that, my mm -hmm. I got two women over here, two women. I can't relate to that. I can't okay, mm. it's good to listen to sometimes, but sometimes I wanna hear like, okay, I had a bad day. I did or my boy got just went to jail. I'm feeling bad or I could have helped them and stuff like that. Like real life stuff, real life situations I, I like to rap about. So mm -hmm. how how did your parents like how, I'm sorry if you because no, if I'm just curious now, um it's like support. How's support for you? Oh my mom before she passed a year ago was my biggest supporter ever. Like she like die hard every time I come to the family function. She grabs the mic and gives me the mic. She puts my song on the um on the aux. It's, it's my biggest supporter. Hmm. I actually, cause I, I lost her. Like it's, I think it's it's gonna be a year in on the seventeenth since I lost her, and um I actually wanted to give up music. It was um cause a, a week before she passed, a close friend of mine named Hollywood he passed. Hmm. It was like a mentor to me cause he did music too and he was like he did it for longer than me. And they passed like weeks within each other, and I like was fell into like a deep depression, and like I really wanted to quit music, but I had to tell myself that I had to keep going for them, cause that's what they loved me to do. Those two people were my biggest fans ever, like those yeah, people. Yeah. I could any song I dropped, they was the first one to know all the lyrics at any time. 
Yeah. And I don't think those people would have wanted you to stop. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Sure, bro. Now, we're yeah. about to wrap up the show, so we would love to hear more from you. I just wanted you to kind of say, you know, one word that you would like people to know that we may not have covered. Maybe it was a question that we didn't cover, something that you want people to know about you. I want people to know that I'm, I'm never, I'm, I'm Dre Low. I'm never regular. I'm, I'm me. I can't be duplicated, can't be imitated. And that's it. Period. I feel that. I feel like Period. For real. Y'all help me give him a round of applause. <laughs> I hear for him, right? <laughs> you heard my applause. It went real quick. It went real quick. <laughs> I'm still learning the boys, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, y'all, I am Niji Savik. It's your boy Mike on the mic. Luke No Skywalker. All right, y'all. Y'all was watching or listening and watching, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 way that different. That's how we doing it, right? Y'all was doing both. See y'all next time. Thank you.